Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to study exponential growth and decay models of differential equations. In this video, we are going to simulate radioactive decay and bacterial growth kind of problems. If y is a differential function of t such that y is greater than 0 and y prime is equal to ky for some constant k, then our differential model will be y equals to c times e to the kt where c is the initial value of y and k is the proportionality constant exponential growth occurs when k is greater than zero and if k is less than zero then exponential decay occurs let's continue on the real examples a slow economy caused a company's annual revenue to drop from $530,000 in 2008 and $386,000 in 2010. If the revenue is following an exponential pattern of decline, what is the expected revenue in 2012? Let's follow up this plan. First, we're going to list out the given data points. So we know that at data point zero, the revenue is $530,000. And two years later, in 2010, which is at data point two, the revenue is $386,000. And t is here equal to 0, 2008, here 2, 2010. And we would like to know the expected revenue in 2012. And in 2012, four years passed. Now our first plan is to pull out k. So our initial amount c is equal to initial amount which is five hundred thirty thousand dollars so we would like to know what the c is to plug in our model here then we can pull out k from here our model is y equals to c times e to the kt and we're going to use the data point given here because it doesn't make sense so we're going to use different data point than c now our y value here is this is our t value this is our y value so our y value is 386,000 and our c value our initial amount is $530,000 and e to the kt our t is 2 and k is k so 2k now we're going to solve for k 386 divided by 530 equals to e to the 2k now we're going to ln on both sides so we're going to have ln of 386 over 530 is equal to we can pull this exponent in front of the logarithm. So 2k ln of e. And we know that ln of e is equal to 1. So 1 times 2k is still 2k. And we're solving for k. So we divide both sides on 2. So we obtain 1 half ln of 386 over 530. And using the calculator, we can see that it is negative 0 0.15, approximately 852. Now, this is our k value that we can use. Now, we're going to go to wanted point. They would like to know what the revenue is when t equals to 4. Our model is again y equals to c times e to the kt. Here we are solving for y. 
So y is equal to our C value is still $530,000. And we found our K value, which is negative 0 0.15852. And our T value is 4. Because when T equals to 4, what is the expected revenue? Here, that's the calculator's job. And if you plug everything into calculator, you're going to obtain $281,000. So that's the expected revenue for 2012. Example 2. Suppose a population of insects increases according to the law of exponential growth. There were 130 insects after the third day of the experiment and 380 insects after the seventh day. Approximately how many insects were in the original population? So in this question, we were asked the C value, the initial amount value. Let's list out the given data points. We were given that on the third day, which is 3, comma, we have 130 insects. And on the seventh day, we have 380 insects. So these are our T values and these are our Y values. Now we need our K value. So for the K value, we're going to create two equations given data points and solve for K. For the equation one, our model is always Y equals to C times E to the KT. For equation two, we're going to use the same model. Let's do that. So 130 equals to C times E to the 3K. And 380 is equal to C times E to the 7K. In one of the equation, we're going to solve for C implicitly and plug in into other equation. So here, if we solve for C, we're going to obtain C is equal to e to the 3k divided by 130. So now we know our C value. Let's rewrite this better. So our C value is equal to 130 e to the negative 3k. Now we can use this C value into second equation. So here we're going to obtain 380 equals to 130 times e to the negative 3k to the 7k. And using the exponential laws, we can merge this. So we're going to obtain 380 equals to 130 e to the 4k. So we are adding the exponents. Here we are solving for k. So we divide both sides on 130 e to the 4k. Now we're going to ln on both sides. So what we obtain is ln of 380 over 130 equals to, we can bring the power in front of ln. And we know that ln of E is equal to 1. And 1 times anything is itself. So, and if we divide both sides on 4, we obtain k is equal to 1 fourth ln of 380 over 130. And this is approximately, using the calculator, is 0 0.268159. Now, we know our k value. Using the growth model, again, which is y equals to c times e to the kt, we can solve for initial value c. This time, the point we're going to plug in is t equals to 3 because we would like to know what the initial value was on the third day. And we know that this data point is 3 comma 130. So 130 equals to C times E to the, our K value is 0 0.268159 that we solved from the equation times three. So here, we're going to use the calculator, C equals to 130 
divided by e to the this value and if you plug everything in the calculator you obtain approximately 58 insects on the third day let's check out example three a zircon sample contains 4000 atoms of the radioactive element 235u given that 235u has a half-life of 700 million years how long would it take to decay to 125 atoms let's start with listing out the given data at time zero we have 4000 atoms and t in million years and we would like to know at what value of time we're gonna have 125 atoms so we're going to solve for this decay our model is y equals to c times e to the kt now we're going to plug this data point into our differential model so 125 equals to our c value is 4000 that's our initial amount and here the key is given half-life whenever you're given half-life your e to the k t value turns into one half times t over the half-life you can either memorize this information or you can derive from the scratch which is going to take a few minutes now we're given half-life so we're going to plug in one half t over 700 because our half-life is given 700 now we're going to solve for t the rest is just algebra arithmetics so we're going to divide both sides on 4000 at our first step so that cancels and now we have 125 over 4000 equals to one half to the t over 700 now we're going to ln on both sides so we obtain ln of 125 over 4000 equals to ln of one half to the t over 700 we can pull this exponent in front of ln using logarithmic rules so t over 700 ln of one half now we can divide both sides on ln of one half because we're isolating t they cancel and this fraction if you plug everything into your calculator is 5 so what you obtain is 5 equals to t over 700 here if you do cross multiplication t equals to 3500 so 3500 million years later the zircon atom will degrade into 125 atoms so our t value is 3500 million years let's check out our final example the number of bacteria in a culture is growing at a rate of 3000 e to the 2t over 5 per unit of time t at t equals to 0 the number of bacteria present was 7500 find the number present at t equals to 5 here we are given the rate growing rate of bacteria let's call it dbdt so the bacteria over dt is given as 3000 e to the 2t over 5 here we can model the function and then plug t value 5 so if we multiply both sides on dt we obtain db equals to 3000 e to the 2t over 5 dt now we can integrate on both sides this is like separable equations antiderivative of this is 1 with respect to db is just b and if we integrate this we obtain 3000 e to the 2t over 5 times 5 over 2 using the antiderivative rules now this is our function 
So our function is 7500. If you multiply 3000 by 5 over 2, e to the 2t over 5. So this is our function model. Now we can plug in t value of 5 to see what the value of the number at t value 5. So b of 5 is equal to 7500 e to the 2 times 5 over 5. So if you plug everything into your calculator, you obtain 55,417.92, which is rounding up 55,418. So we have this many bacteria at time t. So exponential growth and decay models of differential equations require this model y equals to c times e to the kt. According to Contax, you're going to be solving either for c initial amount or t the time. And you need to pull up k value using the given data. And if you're solving for Adam questions, you need to take into consideration of the half-life formula. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helped.